four months after a fire tore through Adams Street in downtown Springfield, businesses are still feeling the effects. Some say they'll continue to struggle until the street is reopened. Fox Illinois' Emily Jordan spoke with a couple of those businesses today on how they're coping. She joins us in studio. Emily. That's right. I spoke with Daisy James and the Wakery this afternoon about insurance and the downtown business scene. Daisy Jane says being an older established business meant they were able to bounce back faster. But newer businesses like the Wakery have had to reduce their hours just to survive. In the business world, you can see ups and downs all the time. So the key thing I think is that I chose not to just close my doors and not to call it quits. I know that we can make income through our events. I know that we have income through rentals and I can pay my bills from that. So we're going to focus on that for a little bit while we get our feet sturdy again. The Wakery says insurance only paid out $1,000 for 10 days of lost business. It's thousands of dollars less than what owner of the Wakery, Elizabeth Wake, says she expected. Neither Daisy James nor the Cat's Pajamas Cat Cafe had fire insurance. The Cat Cafe hadn't applied for fire insurance, and Daisy James was worried about their premium increasing. I just chose not to do that. Other people were impacted greater than we were. We really didn't have damage inside the shop. It smells like smoke. Wake says the best way to support downtown businesses is to continue to attend their events and visit on the weekends. Wake says she understands safety is a priority, but speed should be the second. And I just, I really want council and the public to take note of that, that if we want these local businesses to stick around, right now is the time, because in a month, it's going to be too late. Cafe Moxo is still closed. They're one of the only businesses left that haven't reopened. I'm Emily Jordan. Back to you. Thanks, Emily. Now, Director of Public Works Dave Fuchs says construction is still working to stabilize the walls before demolishing that destroyed building on Adam Street. He estimates the buildings will be stable by the end of the month or beginning of November. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.